How was absolute zero discovered? In the 17 and 1800s, gases were being investigated. One of the tests being done is you take a fixed amount of gas, hold the pressure constant, vary the temperature, and see how the volume changes. So let's say this graph, we have a gas, we'll call it gas one, fixed amount of gas in one moles. We fix the temperature, vary the pressure, and get this relationship here. This is at pressure P1. So a nice linear relationship. We go to another pressure. P2, same result, this nice linear relationship. We go to a third pressure, P3, same result. If we do this for another gas, gas 2, or gas 3, gas 4, we get the same type of result. But what's interesting about this graph, or with a graph for another gas, is that if we extend these lines, they all meet at a point. They meet where V is equal to zero at a temperature value of negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So it was decided that this must be absolute zero. Temperatures cannot be any lower than this. Absolute temperature scales, like the Kelvin scale and the Rankine scale, are zero at this point.